Greetings, I'm Sutter County Sheriff Brandon Barnes. And today I just wanted to make everyone out there aware of a new feature that we have at the Sheriff's Department, which is text to 911. So I'm gonna have some of my dispatch supervisors come in, Rachel and Tammy, and they're just gonna explain a little bit to you. So they're gonna tell you how the 911 text system works. They're also gonna tell you when text to 911 should be used. They're gonna address some of the expectations that the user should have when they text into the Sheriff's Department. And then lastly, they'll explain to you if there are any limitations in the text to 911 features. I hope you enjoy. The text to 911 is a new ability that we've had at the Sheriff's Office, and it allows callers who are not able to call 911 to send a text message. You need to have some type of a data plan for your cell phone and also a texting app. If you have an emergency that you're not able to call 911, you can text the number 911, no spaces, no dashes, and then state your emergency and the location. You should use 911 to text when you're in situations where you're unable to talk in situations where you might have an intruder in the home, uh, possible abduction, uh, possible domestic violence, any situation that you, if talking, would put you into danger. This form of communication for 911 is also beneficial to individuals who might be deaf, hard of hearing, or have speech limitations. So some of the things that you can expect when you send a text to 911 is that you're going to get a dispatcher that is going to ask you a series of questions. Please answer those questions as thoroughly as possible. So when you send a text to 911, always make sure that your message got delivered. If for some reason your message did not get through, you'll get what's called a bounce back, a notification that your message did not go through. Try again. And make sure that you don't use abbreviations or emojis. And please do not send videos or pictures. And do not text and drive. Always be safe. There are no limitations on text to 911. Not all cities do provide this service yet and there might be a small delay or response time while connecting to a 911 operator. Remember to always call 911 first and if you can't call, then text. Always remember calling 911 is better than sending a text. So if you can call 911, call if you can, text if you can't.